हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ दार्शनिक दिस इज अक्षय कदम सो गाइस टुडे ऑन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ दार्शनिक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन इथिक्स इथिक्स पेपर रिलेटेड सैंपल मॉडल क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर ओके सो गाइस इन यू पी वी हैव जनरल स्टडीज पेपर फॉर इथिक्स विच इज ऑल्सो पेपर इन मेनी स्टेट पब्लिक सर्विस कमीशन एग्जाम्स ओके सो दिस टॉपिक विल बी ऑफ यूज ओके फॉर यू पी एस सी इथिक्स एस्पायरेंट एज वेल एज दो स्टूडेंट्स फॉर एपेरिंग फॉर अ स्टेट सिविल सर्विस this uh, exam okay so in the today's class guys i'm going to discuss with you one very simple question okay a sample question uh, and this question is from your topic of syllabus okay so in upsc you have the topic uh, uh, ethics uh, uh, essence and determinants so what is the essence of ethics or what ethics is all about where we learn ethics from okay uh, this basic idea about ethics so one such a question that i wanted to discuss with you is assess the role that emotions play in ethical and moral decision making okay so ethical moral decision making me uh, emotions ka role kya hai what uh, role uh, do emotions play uh, okay do its assessment so guys yahan pe emotions can help you enhance your ethical decision making emotions can even reduce uh, your ethical decision making so it works uh, both the way and that you have to analyze now this is guys very easy question any student uh, who has read a little bit okay will be able to articulate some answer that people who are emotional will be able to be more empathetic compassionate uh, and will be able to uh, feel emotional guilt and uh, with which okay they will be able to take a good ethical moral decisions but i told you guys such a naive answer does not give good marks if you want good marks guys then you will have to write a very qualitatively better answer so how to write such a qualitatively better answer using multiple points okay that i will discuss with you but first thing guys okay remember that question has a suffix ss okay so whenever there is a suffix ss what it means okay is that guys while assessing any situation you have to do the sort analysis you have to uh, analyze strength and weaknesses you have to do the balance examination of the views or explore both pros and cons advantages disadvantages so when your suffix is assess evaluate okay your focus should be on strength and weaknesses so what it says the assess the role that emotions play in ethical decision making so when question says assess the role of emotions then you have to uh, analyze this that how emotions act as a strength in ethical decision making or act as a weakness in ethical decision making both ad advantages of emotions in ethical decision making or disadvantages of emotion in ethical decision making both the way uh, uh, you have to uh, uh, come up with the answer uh, discuss the answer okay so strength and weaknesses balance examination that should be your goal now guys directly don't jump into the question generally i see okay you need to introduce question with the definition of key terms but sometimes you can skip the definition of key terms you can directly introduce and start writing your answer okay both approaches are good okay so here i will show you both the approaches first i will define the keywords so there are two keywords emotions and ethical decision making so in short i will write those and then i will go into how emotions okay play role in enhancing good ethical decision making how emotions hamper good ethical decision making and then uh, conclusion part okay so in definition of emotions guys you have to uh, guys uh, uh, you have to make a list of such a core definitions there are many core value loaded terminology in ethics paper like emotions attitude emotional intelligence value system stereotype prejudice ethics morality virtues okay uh, so all these terms integrity probity objectivity okay there are around 200 250 terms like this and you need to know the key uh, uh, to the point definition of all those key terminologies keywords okay so with this terminology you will be able to uh, uh, write a very good answer it appears or it seems like someone well read person is writing the answer okay not some naive uh, psychology philosophy that you are writing okay so guys in my app classes on darshini guys app i have uploaded this 150 hour ka very comprehensive ethics course okay which will be one stop solution you don't have to study anything else and in that course guys i have discussed such a hundreds of terminologies with their key uh, uh, core definitions and i have also explained those definitions okay so the, all these definitions guys you will get there uh, in that course okay so do check out uh, that course on darshan ai app link is given below in the description 
सो गाइज डेफिनेशन ऑफ इमोशन सो इमोशन आर फिजिकल एंड मेंटल स्टेट स्टेट ब्रॉट ऑन बाय न्यूरो फिजियोलॉजिकल चेंजेस so whatever nervous changes that happen uh, uh, neurological changes that happen in nervous system or whatever physiological changes that happen in our uh, body okay uh, in our muscles or internal uh, organs uh, because of the emotions and these neurophysiological changes guys are variously associated with thoughts feelings and behavioral responses and degree of pleasure and displeasure okay so what is emotions basically this is a physical mental state brought about by neurophysiological change nervous system and physiology okay you uh, human physiology both in, uh, create this emotional uh, or physical state okay which is associated with our thoughts feelings and way we respond uh, in a behavioral manner and generally emotions are classified in two categories pleasure and displeasure positive and negative emotions okay there are wide spectrum of emotions but both are considered either on two category okay uh, then shrungar ras or bibhats ras anger or pleasure pain uh, like that so pleasure or displeasure so basic definition then what is ethical decision making so ethical decision making means guys okay you should be using your conscience prudent reasoned mind and by using your conscience prudent reasoned mind okay you analyze all possible alternatives moral alternatives ethical alternatives okay you analyze all different moral laws and then you pass the final decision you take a final decision so this is simply a process of ethical reflection okay on different moral principles and then choosing one uh, ethical moral law okay after ethically reflecting and argue uh, arguing or debating different uh, principles moral laws so ethical decision making is the process of choosing between different alternatives moral alternatives moral principles in a ways that's consistent with ethical principles okay so you uh, whatever well established ethical principles are there okay by using that okay your conscience prudent reason mind you analyze all different moral alternatives is pros cons and take a final decision so you apply virtue ethics you apply uh, moral intuitionism moral existentialism you apply different ideas under virtue ethics you apply utility theory you apply act rule consequentialism you apply deontology theory you apply mean saint ka logic Uh, you apply uh, principle of universality you apply categorical imperative you apply theories of fundamental right etc and after that okay uh, you take a final decision that's basic ethical decision making so you can introduce this question with this way uh, by writing keyword ke definition okay explaining them and then you can go how to uh, address this uh, how emotions play a role uh, you go on assessing that or you can skip ethical terms you can also introduce in in different way ओके अब ये इंट्रोडक्शन में गाइज मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स डू दिस मिस्टेक ओके एंड दैट्स व्हाई आई रन दिस आंसर राइटिंग प्रोग्राम्स ओके और मेंटरशिप प्रोग्राम्स एंड वन ऑफ द मिस्टेक गाइज दैट दे डू ओके इज रीस्टेटिंग द क्वेश्चन एज अ इंट्रोडक्शन एंड नॉट ओनली दे रीस्टेट क्वेश्चन इन इंट्रोडक्शन दे ऑल्सो रीस्टेट क्वेश्चन इन कंक्लूजन बोथ आर अ इडियोटिक थिंग्स टू डू ओके यू आर रीस्टेटिंग द सेम इंट्रोडक्शन सेम क्वेश्चन इन इंट्रोडक्शन सेम क्वेश्चन इन कंक्लूजन तो कैसे स्टूडेंट्स करते हैं जस्ट टू गिव एग्जाम्पल दैट क्वेश्चन आवर क्वेश्चन इज एस इज द रोल ऑफ रोल दैट इमोशंस प्ले इन इथिकल डिसीजन मेकिंग ओके अब वो क्या करेंगे इंट्रोडक्शन में दैट इथिकल डिसीजन मेकिंग इज अ वेरी चैलेंजिंग टास्क ओके एंड इमोशंस ओके प्ले वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट रोल इन गाइडिंग अस टू मेक दिस इथिकल डिसीजन्स ओके विच विल डिस्कस एज फॉलो अब क्या किया इसमें आपने वही क्वेश्चन को सिर्फ घुमा फिरा के लिखा गाइज डोंट थिंक एग्जामिनर टू बी डम इडियट पर्सन दैट वुड डजन अंडरस्टैंड ओके योर प्ले ऑफ वर्ड्स ओके दे आर प्रोफेसर सिटिंग देयर फॉर 30 फोर्टी ईयर्स विथ टेन ईयर्स टीचिंग आई अंडरस्टैंड सो मेनी थिंग्स दे आर सिटिंग देयर 30 फोर्टी ईयर्स गाइज ओके दे विल बी गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस प्ले ऑफ वर्ड्स फिर कंक्लूजन में वही रीस्टेटिंग ऑफ द क्वेश्चन ओके दस नाउ वी हैव अंडरस्टूड द रोल दैट इमोशंस प्ले ओके इन इथिकल डिसीजन मेकिंग ओके और नाउ वी हैव नाउ विद दिस एनालिसिस वी हैव गॉट द आइडिया दैट इमोशंस डू प्ले वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट रोल ओके एंड पीपल शुड टेक अ हेल्प ऑफ देयर इमोशंस वाइल टेकिंग इथिकल डिसीजन मेकिंग this is what not guys introduction this is not conclusion this is just restating question this is very hopeless way literally to conclude uh, anything or you want to introduce anything so you have to address the essence of the question okay and what is the essence of the question guys here okay that assess the role that emotions play in ethical decision making okay so 
ओके व्हाट वी हैव टू डू कि जनरली व्हेन वी से इथिकल डिसीजन मेकिंग व्हाट वी कंसीडर प्लेज इंपॉर्टेंट रोल दैट इज आईक्यू ओके एनालिटिकल इंटेलिजेंस रैशनैलिटी ओके मोस्ट ऑफ आवर इथिकल डिसीजन मेकिंग वी टेक बाय आईक्यू बट दिस क्वेश्चन इज सजेस्टिंग ओके दैट इमोशंस व्हिच आर कंसीडर्ड किलर ऑफ रैशनैलिटी दे आल्सो प्ले इंपॉर्टेंट रोल तो इसी को डिबेट करो दिस दैट लॉट ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल थियरीज ओके से Uh, or advise people to be extremely rational while taking ethical decision making but okay many modern research is also showing okay that emotions can play a significant role and guide us ethical decision making they can provide you significant cues okay in decision making okay or whether it will hamper decision making it's a long debate and in this question uh, is uh, uh, answer we will address that so this is how you have, you should be framing your introduction guys that traditional views often emphasize importance of rationality and logic in making ethical choices so the question pucha hai kyu establish the question ki traditional views ye hame bol rahe hain ki rationality logic play significant role but this question says no rationality logic ke sath emotion also play important role but emotions do play crucial role in shaping our moral judgment and behavior and uska assessment aage jaake and this is what we will discuss going ahead अब इसमें गाइस सो हाउ इमोशन इन्फ्लुएंस इथिकल डिसीजन मेकिंग अब इसमें बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स वही सेम नाइव साइकोलॉजी दे विल राइट एज आई टोल्ड यू एम्पेथेटिक पीपल विल बी मोर कंसिडरेट टू अदर ओके कंपैशनेट पीपल विल बी मोर कंसिडरेट ओके इमोशनल गिल्ट विल हेल्प अस फ्रॉम डूइंग रॉन्ग थिंग्स डोंट राइट सच ए नाइव साइकोलॉजी आई विल गिव यू सेवन एट पॉइंट्स कोर थियरीज वाइल टू एड्रेस दिस क्वेश्चन okay now core theory is guys like here you can use theory of moral intuitionism how moral intuitions guys okay are guided by emotional responses kisi bhi situation mein when we encounter any situation first emotional cue okay guide us okay to koi bhi like you see any animal in pain okay compassion gets triggered automatically and this theory of moral intuitionism suggest uh, that emotions play very important role same way guys okay you can talk about compassion okay only when people are compassionate emotional they can understand pain of other they can be ethically altruistic to ye jo pro social behavior hai ethical altruism unhi logo se hoga okay who are okay compassionate wo bhi ek angle se you can write the answer then guys emotions not only they tell you what is right and wrong okay but emotions can also act as a very strong motivator to act do something uh, if some uh, unethical uh, thing is going in front of you then they can act as a motivator uh, in ethical decision making also guys okay most of the things are legal okay ki janwaron ko hum kha sakte this is legal but morality guys will differentiate you will tell you why you uh, 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 why uh, like some things are legal but immoral and emotions will tell you that though these things are legal okay they are immoral we shouldn't act now supreme court has decriminalized adultery to fir extra marital affair karna is completely legal now okay not legal as such but it is not criminal offense as such but emotional angle morality okay emotional uh, or moral uprightness will teach you okay why you need to be uh, you should not be engaging in uh, uh, extra marital affairs adultery so aapka ethical decision making how it plays the role uh, or emotions plays the role so such a core points guys you have to write and such a seven points i will give you then we will also discuss theory of uh, gandhi and theory of antyodaya so that is also very important that gandhi and antyodaya theory clearly stated that when you are facing any emotional uh, ethical dilemma just close your eyes and bring to your mind the face of the most oppressed person that you meet in life and just think ki whatever decision you are taking will it bring more smile on his face or more pain and that will be the ultimate conclusion okay of that for that moral dilemma so what gandhi was telling that use your emotions as the guide for making ethical decision making so such a core words guys you have to use and write your answer using such a value loaded terminology okay then only you will be able to write uh, you will get good marks okay and so if you want to know how to write answers using such a theoretical frameworks using value loaded terminology etc then do enroll for my uh, classes guys uh, online app classes even many students have might have studied my classes in offline mode also guys but even in offline there is a time limitation ओके आई टीच इन ओनली सिक्सटी आवर्स उसमें भी आठ दस घंटे कुछ आंसर लिखवाने में चले जाते हैं ओके एंड दैट्स वाई 
uh, in this 60 65 hours guys it's impossible to cover the entire syllabus of ethics paper hardly i managed to cover 50 60 percent of syllabus okay even case studies be uh, four five case studies i managed to take in the class but in my app classes guys okay 100 120 hours you will be having very thorough discussion of all the topics okay i discuss each and every minor topic and also around 20 25 case studies uh, uh, i discuss in my uh, app classes so that will be very comprehensive one stop solution guys do check that out okay even if you are offline uh, student guys because this is 250 marks ka paper okay and scoring 14150 150 is very very important and most of the coaching institutes may guys they don't give proper weightage to the ethics paper okay ki, uh, uh, just like other paper uh, history के चार टॉपिक्स को 200-250 घंटे पढ़ाएंगे क्लास में, जिस पे प्रीलिम में आएंगे 10-12 क्वेश्चन और जीएस वन में हार्डली 5-6 क्वेश्चंस, लेकिन एक जो पूरा 250 मार्क का पेपर है, 60 घंटे में पढ़ाओ, इथिक्स का पेपर 30 घंटे में पढ़ाओ, दैट्स नॉट ओके हाउ टू दैट दैट्स नॉट द rational way of studying these two papers and so guys study this paper while applying bentham ka utility logic cost benefit analysis aise ethics paper mein bahut benefit hai marks bhi bahut aate hai bahut jyada area cover karta hai okay then you should be investing that much of time energy uh, in preparing for those two papers okay so let's see okay how i, I have framed the answer so guys first role that emotions play okay is immediate emotional response and uh, uh, acts as a cue okay so first role emotions play in ethical decision making is they act as a immediate emotional response in many situations like kolkata uh, uh, rape case hua. now after uh, when we re, uh, read that ki the way her bones were broken pelvic girdle was broken uh, uske eyes me jo punch karke uske uh, uh, her eyes were bleeding okay on an instant we get this uh, emotional reaction okay about something very grossly unethical immoral uh, that had happened uh, with that girl and our uh, we want uh, justice so this way guys okay we don't do any de great deliberation ethical deliberation about right and wrong so this uh, uh, quick emotional reaction okay that emotions provide okay uh, is acts as an immediate emotional response and guide our ethical decision making okay but uske baad deliberate ethical decision be uh, 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 we engage into that now should that criminal be hanged or not hanged okay should he be encountered or not okay or especially okay ye jo hai ki ek civil uh, ek police officer mein privatization kaise kar sakta hai koi government okay maine pehli baar aise ajeeb si cheez suni ki civic uh, uh, police officer civic volunteer police uh, service ओके दिस वेरी होपलेस थिंग टू डू इन प्राइवेटाइजेशन ओके तो ये थोड़ा ज्यादा आर्ग्युमेंट्स लगा के व्हेन यू इवैल्यूएट एनी सिचुएशन ओके बट व्हेन यू हियर वी हियर दैट न्यूज़ ओके इमीडिएटली वी फील पेन इनसाइड अस दैट समथिंग सो हॉरिबल हैपन विद एनी गर्ल ओके सो इमीडिएट इमोशनल रिएक्शंस टू मोरल क्वेश्चन ऑफन सर्व एज द फर्स्ट लाइन ऑफ रिस्पांस ओके सो व्हेन कंफ्रंटेड विद मोरल डायलेमा इंडिविजुअल फ्रीक्वेंटली एक्सपीरियंस एंड इमीडिएट इमोशनल रिएक्शन such as empathy anger guilt compassion which can guide their initial judgment so such a initial immediate responses guide our ethical decision making then guys moral intuitions now most of the time guys what this theory of moral intuitionism says in upsc 2023 cse mains exam they asked question on moral intuitionism and moral reasoning i uploaded that question also on my youtube uh, check that out and in my app classes i discuss this theory of moral intuitionism in detail but what moral intuitionism simply means that most of the time we just reply by intuitions gut feeling okay we don't do any uh, ethical calculation so someone is carrying some heavy load and entering the lift and you are just exiting the lift we just keep the door open okay to help that person this is we don't do any deliberative thinking this is emotional intuition koi sadak sadak ke beech mein suddenly aaya should i kill that person or not signal green tha ya nahi tha meri galti hai uski galti hai we try to apply brake or steer the car phir wo car kahi ye jo hit kare aur usse phir car ka car ko damage bhi ho hame uski cost bhi pay karni pade okay but we take that decision with the intuition very quickly we respond and these intuitions guys are strongly guided by our emotional pattern our uh, our uh, emotional reactions so emotions are very strong determining factor in ethical intuitionism ki theory mein so emotions play a very significant role in theory of moral intuitions which is based on instantaneous judgment about the rightness or wrongness of an action 
without conscious reasoning okay so without conscious reasoning guys okay uh, 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 people past or take instantaneous decision based on uh, uh, as per this moral intuitionism ki theory and in this theory guys okay this uh, uh, judgments that uh, we pass judgment about rightness wrongness instantly which are very heavily influenced by our emotions so for example witnessing an act of cruelty may instantly evoke a sense of disgust or outrage leading to intuitive judgment that the act is morally wrong okay to nirbhay ki case ho ya kolkata mein jo case hui okay intuitive reactions also play role uh, there so this first emotional cues okay responses acts as a guide in ethical decision making then emotion act as a motivator for moral action कि कोई आप गाड़ी चला रहे थे गलती से किसी कुत्ते को ठोक दिया अब वो कुत्ता पेन में है ओके सीइंग दैट पेन ओके इट एक्स एज अ मोटिवेटर है किसी दूसरे की वजह से भी एक्सीडेंट हुआ हो ओके इट दैट सीइंग अ पेन ऑफ द एनिमल ओके इट ऑटोमेटिकली मोटिवेट्स अस टू डू समथिंग टू रिड्यूस देयर सफरिंग ओके एंड सो इमोशंस नॉट ओनली हेल्प इन इथिकल डिसीजन मेकिंग दे ओनली एनहांस इथिकल डिसीजन मेकिंग बाय मेकिंग पीपल act uh, in those situations so empathy and compassion are central to motivating uh, ethically altruistic behavior only when we feel empathy for others we are more likely to act in a ways that help them even at a personal cost okay so empathy and compassion are central to mo- uh, central to motivating ethically altruistic behavior aur ye jo ethical altruism ki theory hai okay in uh, uh, consequentialism there are four theories utilitarianism ethical altruism ethical egoism and ethical hedonism so altruism ki jo theory hai uh, in that theory guys okay if you want to be altruistic then you need to be having very strong emotional intelligence compassionate person to feel the pain of others okay then only person can react in those situations so empathy and compassion are central to motivating ethical altruistic behavior pro social behavior and only when we feel empathy for others we are more likely to act in a ways that help them to alleviate their pain so compassion ke liye precondition hai empathy feeling the pain of other person being compassionate is a ethical decision okay compassion means alleviating the pain of other person okay but to alleviate the pain to take that compassionate decision first you need to be empathetic as simple as that then emotional and social intelligence okay so emotions guys also enhance our pro social behavior which is ethically uh, uh, one uh, good way of life okay so guys social intelligence is very important for human beings only socially intelligent human being guys can cooperate with others be a good member of society which is a very important pillar Uh, of ethical behavior to be a good member of society what bhagavad gita says loka sangra our pleasure should not be at the cost of society rather we should be good member of society samaj tumse nahi hai par tum samaj se ho isliye jo samaj ke hit mein hoga wahi tumhare hit mein hoga so we need to be a good member of the society and so okay emotional intelligence helps form emotional connection with others and foster pro social behavior or only guys when you have strong emotional intelligence okay we will be able to understand what our actions how they impact others okay are they impact constructive to the society or destructive and accordingly we act so emotions uh, uh, enhance our pro social behavior help us become good member of society by uh, taking or acting in ethically appropriate manner so emotional intelligence helps form emotional connection with others and foster pro social behavior such as helping those in need or standing up against the injustice okay then guys emotions act as a moral compass okay so most of the time emotions act as a kind of moral compass inside us uh, they provide us a standard guide uh, uh, to act or not to act so emotions guys produce guilt in our mind anger frustration in our mind okay and so and these emotional feelings act as a moral compass so emotions like guilt regret can drive individuals to make amends for wrong action कि गलती से कुछ कर दिया आपने गलत भी कर दिया गिल्ट पैदा हो रहा है दैट विल हेल्प यू टू बी इथिकल नेक्स्ट टाइम मोर इथिकल है जो भी गलत किया उसके लिए पे द कॉस्ट फॉर इट ओके मेक अमेंड्स फॉर इट पे द रिपेरेशन फॉर इट ओके एंड सो इमोशनल रिएक्शन आफ्टर डूइंग समथिंग अन इथिकल गिल्ट रिग्रेट एक्सेट्रा कैन ऑल्सो गाइड और एक्ट एज अ मोरल कंपास नेक्स्ट टाइम टू टेक इथिकल डिसीजन सो दीज इमोशन सर्व एज इंटरनल मोरल कंपास pushing individuals to correct their behavior and avoid similar mistake in the future okay and so these emotions are as a internal moral compass pushing individuals to correct their behavior 
ओके एंड अवॉइड द सिमिलर मिस्टेक्स इन द पास्ट सो बेसिक इमोशन एक्ट इज अ मोरल कंपास देन आई टोल यू महात्मा गांधी तलिस्मान ओके ऑलरेडी आई हैव डिस्कस्ड विथ यू इन डिटेल यू कैन रीड दिस पॉइंट हियर ओके वॉट गांधी सीड इन गांधी एंड तलिस्मान दैट वॉट एवर इथिकल डिशन यू आर टेकिंग वेन एवर यू आर फेसिंग मोरल डायलेमा ब्रिंग द फेस ऑफ द मोस्ट पुअरेस्ट ऑफरेस्ट एक्सप्लॉयडेड पर्सन दैट यू मेट इन लाइफ and then contemplate ki whatever decision you are taking okay consider if action will help that person regain control over their life and destiny okay will that action be helpful for that person consider if action will lead to swaraj for the millions who are hungry and spiritually starving okay and then take the decision based on this contemplation so definitely gandhi ke liye emotions was a very strong determining factor in ethical decision making and then guys emotions can also help differentiate between legality morality that point i told you okay by providing emotional guidance to ethical questions ki bahut sari cheeze legally allowed bhi ho but emotions will tell you okay they will create this sense of uh, um, uh, that moral compass that uh, uh, moral angle uh, that why you shouldn't be engaging in this situation though rationally they are acceptable to do but they are not morally appropriate to do okay so not to hurt animal unnecessarily ओके okay, क्यों किसी जानवर को अननेसरली मारे ओके okay, कि सड़क पे चल रहे हो और कोई जमीन पे चीटी आए कीड़े मकोड़े व्हाई जस्ट किल देम फॉर नो रीजन ओके जस्ट दिस मोरल एंगल दैट इमोशंस प्रोवाइडर्स और नॉट टू एंगेज इन अ अडल्ट्री ओके दो इट इज लीगल और नॉट क्रिमिनल ऑफेंस और नॉट ओके वी शुड बी एंगेजिंग इन अडल्ट्री सो दिस काइंड ऑफ ओके अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ लीगैलिटी मोरलिटी दैट इमोशंस प्रोवाइडर्स ओके सो सेवन रीजन्स आई हैव गिवन यू अ वेरी टेक्निकल वन ओके हाउ इमोशंस एक्ट एज अ गाइड इन इथिकल डिसीजन मेकिंग सो पॉजिटिव रोल वी हैव एसेस्ड ऑफ इमोशंस इन इथिकल डिसीजन मेकिंग नाउ गाइज सी वेन दिस इज एसेस द रोल ऑफ इमोशन सो जनरली आई सेट स्ट्रेंथ एंड वीकनेस ओके सो यू कैन इन एसेसमेंट यू सपोर्ट द रोल इमोशंस प्ले इन एनहांसिंग इथिकल डिसीजन और अपोजिंग बट गाइज सपोज इंस्टेड ऑफ एसेस दे हैव द वर्ल्ड ओके क्रिटिकली एनालाइज द रोल ऑफ इमोशंस देन वेन यू से क्रिटिकल एनालाइज देन यू हैव टू टेक इन टू अकाउंट ऑल पॉसिबल एंगल्स ओके एसेज इवेल्युएट हैव डिफरेंट मीनिंग क्रिटिकल इवेल्युएट क्रिटिकल एनालाइज एक्सेट्रा देन इट हैज लिटल बी डिफरेंट ओवर टोन ऑफ दैट सफिक्स सो वेन क्रिटिकल एनालाइज इज द वर्ल्ड देन यू हैव टू टेक इन टू अकाउंट ऑल पॉसिबल अजम्पन्स ओके ऑल पॉसिबिलिटीज नॉट जस्ट स्ट्रेंथ एंड वीकनेसेस एंड डिबेट द रोल ऑफ इमोशंस इन इथिकल डिसीजन मेकिंग सो सपोज फॉर अ मोमेंट द वर्ल्ड इज क्रिटिकली एनालाइज okay so in this case guys then i will add one more point okay in critical analysis along with supporting how emo uh, emotions uh, influence ethical decision making and opposing how emotions ha ha hamper uh, ethical decision making i will also add one point that is influence of socio cultural context on emotions means what that guys yes emotion decide ethical decision making but emotions are decided by social cultural context and that's why for same thing people will have different emotional reactions okay so for example you are belonging to jain religion and you are belonging to uh, uh, islam or christianity so in jain religion uh, non veg eating uh, is strongly forbidden okay while uh, uh, islam christianity may that is not a moral debate so being jain and being a uh, uh, muslim or a christian okay regarding non veg eating okay you will be having different emotional reaction okay so some person who absolutely do, do not engage in non veg eating who belong to that culture religious background okay uh, when he sees a non veg or animal being killed he will have very strong reaction to that compared to uh, other person okay where non veg eating is acceptable he will have very uh, he will not have such a strong emotional reaction so your socio cultural background shapes your emotional response which will also shape okay uh, ethical decision making in particular situation okay and so like a generally example i give india may we take care of our old parents america may uh, uh, people don't take and so if we see some american not taking care of their old parents we will feel uh, emotionally judgmental ethically judgmental about that person but then okay emotions can also create different 
pattern ki different uh, emotions can lead to different ethical decision making based on uh, socio cultural background you are part of okay so uh, socio cultural background might evoke different emotions why, which lead to different ethical decisions or different understanding of what is ethical unethical so emotions uh, have this way uh, very different role in ethical decision making so emotions are shaped by social cultural context influencing what individuals perceive as morally acceptable or unacceptable so emotions are shaped by socio cultural context and they decide uh, per, per, uh, from that we perceive what is morally acceptable unacceptable so emotions like shape pride loyalty are often influenced by societal norms and expectation guiding individual to act in a ways that are socially approved and morally valued within their communities okay so in, uh, emotions also uh, uh, get shaped by this uh, shame pride loyalty guilt all these emotions guys shaped by societal societal norms expectation okay and which guide individual to act in a ways uh, and so we uh, uh, the emotions that are, are generated are shaped by social conditioning okay and these emotions then okay will create in us feeling of what is socially approved what is not um, uh, socially or morally approved etc so non veg eating will be one example of that yeah family is also one part of society so i generally say in some families okay father beats the mother okay and kid who is seen the violence happening might have very strong emotional reaction seeing some other woman getting beaten or he might be totally deconditioned okay to the violence okay so little bit emotions what emotions will evoke are based on social cultural context and which will decide uh, our uh, ethical moral reaction in particular situations so critically analyze ho to you have to take into account all this uh, deep analysis of the topic but yahan pe world is only assess so i will uh, 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 skip the previous slide i will just discuss seven positive points and three four negative points of the question so emotions can hamper ethical decision making that can also happen uh, emotions are always not supportive of ethical decision so potential pitfall of emotions in ethical decision making okay so guys emotional emotion emotional biases might stop us from an objective impartial decision making and it can also lead to biased or irrational decisions okay so emotional biases might stop us from objective impartial uh, uh, decision making so emotions are killer of rationality we already know and not only the killer rationality stop uh, from taking a proper ethical decision emotions okay uh, emotional biases okay subjective opinions okay can create uh, uh, subjective decision making so emotional biases means guys in my app classes uh, i have discussed in meta ethics uh, two debates moral absolutism versus relativism and moral objectivism versus subjectivism to ye jo debate hai moral subjectivism where moral decisions are based totally on opinion moral opinion of the people okay and so moral subjectivism guys opinions of the people matter uh, 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 in decision making and emotional biases is one way it can cloud ethical judgments okay and so then uh, emotionally biased people okay won't be able to take impartial objective decision which is very much required in ethical uh, uh, governance in administrative ethics as isips you need to be impartial neutral rational objective and you should be taking all decision based on merit quantification okay and so this way it can hamper so for example fear or anger may cause someone to act in a way that is ethically questionable or lo loyalty to a group may lead to overlooking unethical action committed by group members so for example some pe uh, people of nazi party nazi germany okay who were very loyal to the political party political leader or their own nazi group did very heinous acts okay and uh, this guy german people uh, their descendant are still shocked uh, or still uh, 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 feel uh, extreme this guilt for what ancestors did okay but guys that's what once you develop emotional biases it can cloud your ethical decision making you can't see the other side of the reality then over reliance on emotions okay relying solely on emotions without sufficient reflection or reasoning can result in emotionally impulsive decisions okay and that may not align with one's broader ethical principle or uh, greater good okay so if you always uh, rely on emotions okay or reliance on emotions without sufficient reflection reasoning okay most of the decision you take by gut feeling okay then you won't be able to take proper decision 
ओके इमोशन शुड बैक इमोशन शुड बी गाइड बट दे शुड नॉट बी द सोल क्राइटेरिया अलॉन्ग विथ इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस यू नीड टू हैव एनालिटिकल इंटेलिजेंस ओके सो सेम वे अलॉन्ग विथ इमोशंस यू शुड बी हैविंग वेरी रैशनल एनालिसिस रैशनल रिफ्लेक्शन ओके प्रॉपर इथिकल डिबेट ऑन पर्टिक्युलर टॉपिक बिफोर पासिंग एनी जजमेंट ओके सो ओवर रिलायंस ऑन इमोशन कैन इवन मिसलीड यू देन इमोशनल ओवरवेलमिंग किल्स रैशनैलिटी then sometimes when you are emotionally overwhelmed you won't be able to think properly emotions kill rationality is especially in panic situation okay in a mob mentality in panic situation in a fear okay uh, in such a situations okay emotional decision making then properly applying utility calculus etc is not possible so when you are uh, on a boat boat capsized and your uh, 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 three people are with you if you are a boy then your mother sister and daughter if you are a uh, uh, girl okay uh, then your uh, father uh, uh, brother and son okay whom will you save so in that case guys it is becomes uh, in such a emotionally charged situation ethical decision making or rational decision making is not possible so in emotionally charged situation such as riots or panic situation such as disasters okay prevent people from ethical decision making people who are not emotionally intelligent may not be able to use utility calculus effectively तो जो कांत ने सारे पैरामीटर दिए थे यूटिलिटी कैलकुलस के ओके सर्टेंटी फिकंडिटी प्रॉपिंटिटी एक्सटेंट ऑफ प्लेजर एक्सेट्रा ओके दिस पर्सन वोट बी एबल टू अप्लाय प्रॉपरली सो यू नीड टू बी एक्सट्रीमली इमोशनली इंटेलिजेंट काम बैलेंस्ड पर्सन स्थित प्रज्ञा वाट भगवदगीता इथिक्स सेस टू टेक अ प्रॉपर इथिकल डिशन सो देन कंक्लूडिंग दिस क्वेश्चन गाइज यू कैन कंक्लूड दिस क्वेश्चन टू वेज ओके सो हियर okay both the way i have given you uh, how to conclude this question okay so in one way i will discuss that in conclusion that yes we assessed that emotions can enhance or emotions can suppress ethical decision making okay and for proper better decision making you should have been mixing it with the iq okay and eq iq mix is the best way going forward uh, for ethical decision making so i'm uh, i have address now ओके की इक्यू इज इम्पॉर्टंट और इमोशन्स प्ले इम्पॉर्टंट रोल इन इथिकल डिसीजन मेकिंग नाउ सी इन द इंट्रोडक्शन व्हाट आई हैव डिस्कस्ड क्वेश्चन के की एसेस द रोल ऑफ इमोशन्स देन आई सेड की जनरली पीपल वी यू आई क्यू प्लेज रोल इन इमोशनल डिसीजन मेकिंग रैशनैलिटी प्लेज रोल इन इथिकल डिसीजन मेकिंग ओके बट ओके लॉट ऑफ पीपल ऑल्सो नाउ टॉक अबाउट रोल ऑफ इमोशन सो आई इंट्रोड्यूस क्वेश्चन सेइंग ओके लार्जली पीपल विल यू आई क्यू प्लेज द रोल बट नो दैट्स नॉट द केस इमोशन ऑल्सो प्ले द रोल देन आई डिस्कस पॉजिटिव निगेटिव सो इन द एंड नाउ आई कैन कंक्लूड द सेम बिगिनिंग आर्ग्यूमेंट दैट दिस शोज दैट इमोशन हैव एनहांसिंग एज वेल एज सप्रेसिंग रोल एंड मिक्सड विथ आई क्यू ओके रैशनैलिटी प्रॉपर डेलिब्रेशन एंड थिंकिंग एंड एनालिसिस of the situation will be able to do a much higher level better decision making you can conclude this way or okay so you can conclude in this manner also that emotions are integral to ethical moral decision making serving as both guide or uh, guide and motivator so they will guide you with the emotional cues responses they can provide you motivation so you are summarizing the points so one way you can summarize the points that you have discussed or whatever your beginning began with the in the introduction you can conclude that Uh, in the uh, conclusion part okay with that you can uh, close your answer so they help individuals connect with the moral dimension of their action fostering empathy compassion and sense of justice however for sound ethical decision it is essential to balance emotional responses with careful reasoning and reflection okay so i am summarizing that emotions play important role they act as a guide they motivate us okay they foster empathy compassion which helps uh, act more proactively carry out ethically altruistic behavior pro social behavior but it is essential okay that only this is not enough we need to balance it with the logic reflection okay then you can also conclude in this another way okay that i have discussed that balancing emotion and reason is essential for effective ethical decision making so jo intro ka part tha i am concluding while emotion provide motivational force and initial guidance they motivate you ki kuch galat ho raha hai painful ho raha hai emotions will create empathy compassion okay but that motivation should be okay guided or should be added with reason so reason helps to evaluate situation consider alternative actions and make decision that align with one's moral 
principles and long term goals so you can conclude that yes eq can act as initial guidance motivator but it should be mixed with reason so which will help us okay take into account every aspect of situation explore alternatives and uh, take a decision in a deliberative calculative manner which okay not only emotional but long term may sustainable decision so aap kahi illegal encroachment hatane gaye wahan pe bahut sare jo log reh rahe wo boodhe log hain jinka aga picha koi nahi wo sadak pe aa jayenge emotional cues can guide you ki bhai then don't remove the illegal encroachments but by emotional cues plus reasoning okay will tell you what is more sustainable in long term and as a civil servant okay you can't be supporting illegal thing though you are compassionate about those people okay uh, but agar wo illegal colony hai not properly planned kal kuch aag lag gayi bahut sare log mar jayenge koi disaster environmental disaster hua bahut sare log mar jayenge so by being compassionate you might be cause uh, end up okay causing more pain to those people so this way emotion backed by reason are the perfect uh, 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 perfect combination in ethical decision so that way also you can conclude okay so i hope you got the idea how to write answers to the ethics questions okay so from introduction uh, to conclusion so guys i have shown you how to write answer with key key terminology ka definition or alag introduction maine kiya fir seven points in support three points against ten points wahi pe ho gaye ek intro and ek conclusion that's the best answer 12 pointers ka answer okay ek har kisi ko aapko half half mark bhi mile 6 7 marks you are going to get which is very good score okay uh, getting above 50% marks in ethics questions okay so guys uh, to study or if you want to know more about this ethics course uh, in detail study this subject comprehensively so you can score uh, 140 150 then do check out my darshan guys app link is given below in the description okay uh, there you can download my app from google play uh, app store okay and also stay tuned to my darshan guys channel for more uh, content check out my other strategy based lectures and also my uh, youtube current affairs shorts they will also be of a great help for you so thanks for listening guys and stay tuned